Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Immigrate Abroad. I am Sunil Raj and in today's video I'll show you how to create and submit an Express Entry profile. So stay tuned. To create an Express Entry profile, you need to first create a Government of Canada GC Key account. To create a GC Key account, visit Citizenship and Immigration website. The link to the website is in the video description below. So to create a GC key, click on my applications and click on sign in to create an account. So here you will have multiple options. So if you don't have an account, click on register. And to register an account, you will have two options, either to register as a GC key or register through or login through a sign in partner. So you can just register through a GC key, which is the simplest way to go for creating an account. So in here, click on sign up to create an account. Agree to the terms and conditions and choose a username uh, which is alphanumeric. So it should match the username checklist. And once you're satisfied with, with it, click on continue. Choose a password that matches the password checklist and click continue to proceed further. So you would have to come up with a recovery questions in case if you forget your password. So for that, choose something that uh, you remember and that is e easier for you to answer any of the, the, the questions that are being presented if your account gets locked out. So once you are satisfied with your uh, answers, click continue to proceed further. So once you completed uh, the creation of account, it will log you back to the home page. So you have to navigate back to the login page. So click on my applications and click on sign in and now click on sign in to GC key. Since you have recently created the account, it will not ask you to log in, but it will automatically log you in. Once you log in, you have to enter your uh, given name and last name. In case if you don't have that uh, given name and surname on your passport, you can just mention your full name on the last name section. Here it will ask you to create a security question and answer. So this is basically a, a two-factor authentication. So whenever you're trying to log in, it will, ask, it will present a series of questions, whichever you have mentioned and verify it is you that is trying to log in and in here you can see you're logged into your account you don't have any applications yet so to create one click on apply and choose any of the eligible uh, applications that you can apply online specify your personal reference code for express entry eligibility check if you have one if you don't click on express entry and answer a few questions to find out if you are eligible for express entry specify the province that you wish to uh, settle in if you move to Canada and proceed further and specify the uh, language test that you have taken so it could be either English or French specify one and click next to continue specify the date you took the test to make sure if it is in the validity period and specify the test scores so mention the scores for each language ability and once you are done, proceed further. If you have taken a second official language test for Canada Express Entry, choose that. Uh, or if you haven't taken, choose the option none and proceed further. Specify if you have uh, skilled work experience in Canada in the last three years. If you don't, specify none. And if you chose none to the previous question, choose none of the above for the the current question and proceed further. Specify if you have skilled work experience in the last 10 years, uh, full-time work experience or equal and part-time work experience. And specify if you have any of the skilled trade work experience mentioned below. If you have none, choose none and proceed further. Specify how much money you will be bringing to Canada. There is a certain limit that you have to show depending on the size of your family. And this can keep changing every year. So make sure you go through that page and get the right amount and specify that amount in that particular question. And also mention what would be your family size. This should be including yourself. Specify if you have a job offer in Canada and proceed further. 
mention your date of birth and you also have to mention your education credential assessment so here specify what was the, the the main result of your education credential assessed whether it was equivalent to whatever you had and specify if you have connection to Canada like if you have relatives in Canada or if you have studied in Canada previously and proceed further and specify whether you are married or single or what is your marital status and click next so in, on this page you will see whether you qualify for express entry or not if you qualify for express entry you can click on continue so now you just have to start your express entry application by specifying your last name and your first name you have to provide all your uh, details personal details exactly according to your passport details so specify your gender specify your date of birth some of the answers will be copied from your previous uh, answers so click next and proceed further specify your marital status again and proceed further so now you you end up on a, a express entry form where you have to submit for different uh, sections so you can always save and exit whenever you want and if you are a, a if you are a married person and if you have two applicants on the same profile so you will have two boxes similar to this one for the uh, primary applicant one for the secondary applicant some of the answers will be copied from your previous answers so here you just have to specify the one that are missing and you have to specify exactly how it is in your passport again you for your id document summary you would have to give your passport document or your national id whichever is available with you so it's most probably will be your passport so specify what document uh, you have and specify the document number and specify in which country you received this document or where it was issued and your issued date and expiry date you can add if you have multiple passports you can add multiple uh, documents here specify if you have applied for immigration canada before if not choose none and proceed further specify your country of citizenship here you can specify multiple countries if you have multiple citizenships and specify your country of residence it could be the one that is other than your uh, country of citizenship specify how many family members you will be bringing to canada with you so this should include you as well and this should be immediate family and not your parents and specify the right amount of money that you would be bringing in so this will be depending on the family size and click next so if you have relatives in canada specify that in this section so that completes your personal details so now move, moving on to the contact details specify whether you would like to have a correspondence in english or french and specify your email id for correspondence so moving on to your study and languages here you will you will submit all your education details so specify whether you have uh, any education qualification and specify your field of study so under field of study you might see your uh, uh, education qualification or you might not so in my case i have done uh, i have a background in engineering but i don't see engineering specified here so in such cases i have to just choose whatever that is and in canada engineering falls under applied sciences so you might have to dig a, a little deep to see where you fit in and then specify when did you start your education so if it is not your current uh, study you have to specify the end date of that uh, education qualification specify how long was your education qualification in my case it was a master's degree and i'm specifying my highest level of education here so and i have to specify whether it was a full time or part time and whether i was awarded a degree and the country in which i received this degree and uh, the city and the institution name and specify the level of the degree so this was the level of degree that you it was awarded in your country it's not the education credential assessment what it comes to so now here again you have to specify whether your education credential assessment was exactly same as your level of qualification 
so you have to specify your education credential assessment certificate number and what was the result of it you can add multiple degrees here if you have a PhD if you have a bachelor's so moving on to the language requirements in here specify in which language you can communicate and which language test you have taken the name of the test the date of the language test and the results when you received the results of your language test you would also have to specify the language uh, test results identification number so it will be on the document and and part of the answers will be copied from your previous answers as well so you have completed most of it so there are only few details to be completed on the applications and profiles uh, application and profile details choose which province you would consider living in so always choose all provinces and territories you're not certain whether you will get through express entry or not so in here leave the option so that you receive a provincial nomination from any of the provinces in Canada so agree to all the the terms and provide your consent here and proceed further and specify if you have already received a nomination certificate for any province if you haven't choose no and proceed further now on the representative sections if you are going through a representative they will be completing this form however if you are doing it if you are not using a representative choose no and proceed further so you are at the final section your work history here you have to specify your job noc code so if you don't know your job for four digit noc code you can search that by typing in your occupation designation part of it not all of it just like how i'm doing my background is in software engineering so i'm able to find my noc by just typing search here or else you have to do a bit of research to find your noc code you also have to specify when you became qualified to practice this particular occupation or when you were able to start your uh, work history so this could be your join the first joining date of your uh, occupation or it could be your graduation date certain jobs in canada require a, a canadian certification if you have one specify one if you don't just answer no and proceed further if you don't have a job offer from canada uh, specify no and proceed further and here you have to mention your work history so you have to mention uh, the date of joining to your uh, uh, work so and you also have to specify the year of joining so here you also have to mention whether this this is your current job or this is your previous job specify the hours per week uh, for for your current job and the noc code specify your job title the company name the country in which uh, you were working or you are working and the city where you were residing at that time and save and add similarly you can add your multiple work histories but make sure all of these work histories have the same noc code only the same noc code will be counted towards your uh, score your your comprehensive ranking system score so if you have different nocs then that may not add up to the number of year, years that you think you have so once you are done with this you are at the final uh, part of your application here you will be able to give some voluntary information you don't have to answer any of these you can choose no and end this or you can choose yes and answer few few questions so this will just ask whether you have researched about your jobs in canada choose your answer accordingly and whether you have looked into whether your work experience and education is sufficient to move to Canada and work in Canada and you can you also have to answer whether you know if if the job that you are looking for requires a certification or not so this this pretty much completes your equicentric profile creation you this still is not complete you can save and exit or you can continue further to submit your profile to the equicentric pool so here first you have to uh, go through your uh, declaration and agree to the to the declaration and you have to sign your declaration so it's more like an electronic signature by specifying your name and you also have to answer your security question that you created at the time of your gc account 
So here again, review your declaration and once you're satisfied with everything, click on transmit to submit your Express Entry profile to the Express Entry pool. So as soon as you submit, you will receive a CRS score. So go through the, the message on the final page and click on exit questionnaire. So now you, you can come out of the questionnaire and view your CRS score. So again, when you're logging, when you're coming out of your Express Entry profile, you have to again answer your security uh, question and answer and then hit continue. So now you're back into your GC account where you can see that you have an Express Entry application that you have submitted and you have the options. So as soon as you submit your Express Entry application into the pool, you will receive an email notification like this. So this will be to your uh, to the, the correspondence email that you have mentioned on your profile. So you can go to your application and check these messages. So the email won't specify the message, but it will only say that there is a message in your profile and this is how your profile looks. You will receive all these details as soon as you submit your profile into the Express Entry pool. Here you will also see your CRS score and what program you are, you have you are eligible for. You will also be able to see the breakdown of the scores for different uh, sections or different criteria. And at the bottom, you will be able to see what messages you have received. So that's how easy it is to create an Express Entry profile. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share this video and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.